Hello everyone, this is Dan Bush, or on to the floor here, here in the city of Women, Chris Peter 2 from the United States Original Student and Senate Future. If you guys are not going to be along, it's going to be Bob, please do not come. Are you guys going to get Bob? I don't know how you guys would do it, but let's go ahead and let's go and get started. First Peter 2 in the United States Original Student and Senate Therefore, rid, rid yourselves of all malice and all deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and slander of every kind. Like newborn babies, crave pure spiritual milk, so that by it you may grow up in your salvation, now that you have tasted that the Lord is good. A living stone and a chosen people. As you come to him, a living stone rejected by humans, but chosen by God and precious to him. You also, like living stones, are being built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For in scripture it says, See, I lay a stone in Zion, a chosen and precious as a cornerstone, and the one who trusts in him will never be put to shame. Now to you who believe this stone is precious, Precious, but to those who do not believe, this the stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone and a stone that causes people to stumble, and a rock that makes them fall. They stumble because they disobey the message, which, which is also what they were de destined for. But you, but you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of Him who called you out of darkness to His wonderful light. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Once you are not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you have not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Living godly lives in a pagan society. Dear friends, I urge you as foreigners and exiles to abstain from sinful de desires, which wage war against your soul. Live such good lives among the pagans that, through the, though they accuse you of doing wrong, they may see your good deeds and glorify God on the day he visits us. Submit yourselves for, your Lord, for the Lord's sake to every human authority whether to the emperor as a supreme authority or to governors who are sent by him to punish those who do wrong and to commend those who do right. For it is God's will that by doing good you should silence the ignorant talk of foolish people. Live as free people, but do not use your freedom as a corner up for evil. Live as God's slave. Show proper respect to everyone. Love the family of believers. Fear God. Honor the emperor. Slaves in reverent fear of God, submit yourselves to your masters, not only to those who are good and considerate, but also to those who are, who are harsh. For it is commendable if someone bears up under the pain of unjust suffering because they are conscious of God. But how is it to your credit if you receive a beating for doing wrong and, and endure, it, endure it? But if you suffer for doing good and you endure it, this is commendable before God. To this you were called because Christ suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his steps. He committed no sin and no deceit was found in his mouth. When they hurled their insults at him, he did not retaliate when he suffered. He made no threats, and said he entrusted himself to him, who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed, for you were like sheep going astray, but now you have returned to the shepherd and overseer of your souls. Okay guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye.